Hi, James here. Um, as you may know, I've been doing a lot of tutorials on um, audio and uh, DJing, and uh, I've been emailed uh, a couple of questions, computer related questions, and um, one of the questions I was asked was what's the difference between AGP and AGP8? And I get this question a lot actually, to be fair. Uh, basically, the person that emailed me has got uh, an older computer and they've been out and tried to get a new graphics card for it uh, over the weekend and uh, they went into the shop and the guy said basically you need to find out what slot type it is whether it's AGP or AGP8 and um, they said that they went on a few websites and a few forums and basically they got the idea from what people have said uh, that you can use an AGP8 graphics card in a standard AGP slot and the other way around but I'm going to tell you now, you can't, okay? Um, what I'm going to do is now, um, I've got two things down here which I'm going to show you. I'm just going to demonstrate to you what happens if you swap the slots over. Right, before I start quickly, uh, I've got a graphics card here. Um, this is a really old, it's an old Savage 2000. This was made in like, I think like 98, 99. And uh, it's an old Ino 3D card. Now, this is a standard AGP graphics card, which means it fits in a normal AGP slot. And um, it's, yeah, it's really old. I think it's about 64 meg. So that's one. Now, this is uh, NVIDIA G4 6200. And uh, this is about three years old or two years old, I think. And uh, you can see on there, it's got AGP 8X on there which means it's an AGP-8 slot. Uh, now, these are two completely different types of card, and if you try and mix these two in different slots, chances are you're either going to blow that up or your motherboard, because the voltages have changed. Okay, now, let me quickly show you two motherboards. Down here, I've got two motherboards. Now, spot the difference. No, seriously, you'll be here all day, don't bother. They're actually both the same motherboard, uh, but there is one subtle difference, okay? That one has a standard AGP, and that one has an AGP X8 or times 8 slot. Okay, now they both look exactly the same, but actually they're very different. And if you was to try putting the wrong graphics card in the wrong slot, you're either going to damage the motherboard or the graphics card. Okay, um, now these are actually both, like I say, both the same. They both got the same slots and everything except that one's got a CMOS battery and that one hasn't, but anyway. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start with this one, the standard AGP, and I'm going to put it in that shell there, quickly, and uh, we'll put an AGP8 graphics card in there, and I'll show you what happens. But before I do that, I've got to put in the CPU, and I've got to plug it all in and everything, so uh, I'll do it really quickly, watch this. There you go, you see? That was quick. Right, now, first we're going to try the NVIDIA 6200 uh, in the standard AGP slot. Now, bearing in mind, I don't care about this motherboard and I don't care about these graphics cards because they're old and obsolete. So, um, don't try this at home unless you're doing it on a computer you don't care about because you can actually wreck it doing this. Right, it's the uh, anti-static bag. Right, we'll just bung this in here. Like that. I'm not going to bother putting a screw in because it's coming out again in a minute anyway. Okay, let's uh, fire it up and see what happens. There we go. So it's working. Let's uh, have a look at the screen. It's almost loaded, just on the last screen. Whoa, yeah, that looks pretty messed up. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that very well, but everything is really messed up. Look at that. Right, now, you can see everything is completely pixelated and unclear, and look, there's lines just appearing on the screen randomly everywhere. All sorts of graphics errors. Now that's because the motherboard can't actually produce the amount of power that that graphics card needs to run. So at the moment, the motherboard is probably there. Look at that. How are you supposed to read that? I don't know if you can see that very well. 
but that is mental. It becomes clear while the actual thing is highlighted, but then it just becomes messed up again. Tons of graphics errors. That's actually putting a lot of strain on the motherboard, so I'd give that a couple of hours and that motherboard will be smoking. So let's, um, yeah, let's actually turn that off now. Uh, Windows has actually warned me as well, saying that there's graphics problems. Uh, but now, as I was shutting this down, I actually got a blue screen of death and it just turned itself off, so uh, it's not working too well in there really. And like I say, I'd give that motherboard an hour and you'd have some kind of hardware failure, whether it be a cap that's controlling the power supply to that slot or something or the chipset or something would fail. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to take this out now. And see how now, surprisingly, that's actually quite warm. I wasn't expecting it to get hot. Now, this is our old graphics card. Now, this is a standard AGP graphics card. And uh, we'll put that in now, and we'll see if that works any better. Right, now let's fire this up and see how this works. Okay, it's fired up. Good. Oh, can't move the bloody thing. Oh, there we go. It's come up with a company logo. So, that's working now. We'll see how that works. Right now Windows is booted up now and you can see that that's a lot better now. Um, that Windows can't find a driver for it but I'm not surprised, it's so old I don't even think there is an XP driver for it to be honest. Um, but there you go, you see that's running fine now. Uh, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Uh, there's no graphics errors, it looks generally quite clear. Okay, I've just swapped the motherboards around, here's the one that we had in there a second ago. Uh, it's got a slightly different heatsink and fan on that one because that one's actually got a slightly more powerful processor. Um, but that one's got an AGP8 as opposed to a standard AGP. So we'll um, put in the old card in here now. So the old AGP1 card. Okay, let's turn it on. And uh, just give it a second to boot up. And uh, oh, okay, that's not looking good. Uh, yeah, straight away we've got problems here. You can see the whole screen is just messed up. Um, yeah, so it's actually got the company logo and everything up there if you can see it just about, but it's all messed up. So clearly that's not going to work. So that's an AGP1 card in an AGP8 slot. Okay, so that's clearly not working. Oh, okay, uh, yeah, things are blowing up here. We've got smoke and all sorts. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn this off actually. Yeah, we've got smoke and all. Ah, shit, that's hot. Yeah, don't touch that, that's hot. Yeah, so that didn't work out too well. I don't know if you can see that. One of the caps has actually burst open on there. It keeps going blurry, you can't really see that. It's actually burst open, so that's what that pop was. Um, so that's probably pretty knackered now, to be honest. Um, not that I really care, it's an old rubbish thing anyway. So Anyway, let's put a proper AGP8 card into a proper AGP8 and we'll see how that works. Okay, let's uh, boot this up and see how it runs now. Okay, it's, okay, it's booted up, that's a good thing. Oh, yeah, there we go. You just missed the screen where it come up the... Nvidia and all that. Uh, and what's this? Pressed it. Oh, it's because it's got no CMOS battery. Right, okay. Um, yeah, there we go. Uh, there we go. It should boot up now with no problems. Is it going to? Yes, no. Yes, right, okay. Let this boot up and we'll see how it works. So um, I'll let it come up with add new hardware and all that tosh. Yeah, there we go. Right, so once it's done all that, I'll here we go, we're now running an NVIDIA 6200. So if you ever do see a comment or if somebody ever does say to you, yeah you can mix the slot types, okay, believe me you can't, take it from me and from what you've just seen in there as well. Um, now, I don't want to contradict myself here, but um, there is also AGP4X as well, um, which you can put in an AGP8 slot, okay but not the other way around. So you can put a 4 in an 8 and that's that's the only time you can ever mix uh, a port type is a 4 in an 8. So uh, there you go. 
and uh, before you think, oh, it's a bit of a laugh, let's put in an old graphics card and blow it up, uh, disclaimer, right? I'm not responsible for that. Don't try it to your computer because you're probably just going to ruin your motherboard and, you know, just don't even go there. And uh, also as well, if you've got any questions or comments, please leave comments underneath if you like. Uh, but I don't want any comments like, oh, you know, you didn't use an anti-static band or you didn't put that in properly or whatever. Okay, like I explained at the beginning of the video, I don't really care about any of the stuff that's in there. It's all old rubbish, which I'm probably going to throw away anyway. So, you know, I don't want anything like that. Uh, so there you go. I uh, hope this video has been a help. Thank you for watching. Nice one.